Connecticut car accident attorney Ryan McKean here. One of the things that we see is when people get in car accidents, they may contact the other person's insurance, they may, um, the insurance company may call them, but they, they, one of the things that um, we see is they, they, these insurance companies, they ask for a lot of information. They may want like your driver's license, they may want you to give a recorded statement, and they may really think that you have, that they, that you have no choice but to give this information to them. That's what they want you to think. But you absolutely have a choice. And one of the, one of the things that is, is very um, specific that they ask for is people's social security numbers. Now your social security number um, is the key, not just to social security, but a lot of things in your life. Like it's very private data um, uh, uh, specific to you. And why they want your social security information is a few things. So they can report you to state agencies, so they can report you to Medicare, so they can report you to Department of Administrative Services, so they can run claims checks because they have access to databases where they can say, oh, okay, with this person's social security number, I can find out all their medical bills. So I can learn things about them that I otherwise couldn't learn. They may run criminal background checks that they're not otherwise able to do because they don't know your social security number. Now, Connecticut law really protects people who are injured from having to give their social security number. Generally speaking, in the interrogatories, if a case ever got to litigation, which is, may or may not happen, that you only have to give the last four of your social security number, and it's really just primarily for Medicare reporting purposes. Understand that you have to, there's an obligation to report claims to Medicare. There may not be obligations to report claims to other um, government agencies, but there is one to Medicare. And it's not even a question that they can ask during a deposition. So if you're in a car accident and you do happen to call, again, I recommend that you call your attorney, you call a car accident attorney first, an experienced car accident attorney first, because these insurance companies, they don't have your best interest in mind. They, what they do is they're sneaky and they may ask you after a car accident, you know, I'm, how are you doing today? And you say, you know, I'm doing all right. And what they do is they have that and it's a recorded statement. And then, you know, three years from now, when you're in a deposition or you're on trial, they'll play it back and say, well, you know, you say you're so hurt now, uh, but you said you were all right the day after the accident. And they try to nitpick and, you know, twist your words when you just said all right, as in I'm not dying or I'm being polite or I don't really want to discuss how bad I feel or I have a whole bunch of adrenaline growing, flowing through my body and I'm not feeling the pain that I did come to feel 24, 48, 72 hours later, okay? So you don't have to give this and you especially do not have to give your social security number to these people. There is no reason for this in handling your claim that they have your social security number. They just want to use it to invade your privacy and to uh, use it against you any which way that they can. So you have to be very, very careful about giving out your social security number to some of these claims adjusters. They don't, they don't get it by law. They don't get, don't give it to them, and really don't talk to these adjusters without, um, without, without speaking with an experienced attorney. If you have any questions, you can give me a call 860-471-8333.